What's up, wrestling world? It's your boy T. Jones, bringing the good, bad, and the ugly. My first video of the new year. I hope everybody's doing fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna get right to the subject. Wrestle Kingdom, Kenny Alpha versus Omega, Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. I just, I like just, I woke up watching the match. Cause somebody posted it, and I watched it before they took it down. You know, it was on Facebook, somebody in a wrestling group posted it in one of my wrestling groups I'm in. The match was really good. Like, it was it was really good. A lot of people in the group were saying, oh, Jericho carried, oh, Kenny carried and everything. Like, I don't, when it comes to wrestling, I don't care about that kind of stuff. Like, I'm a, like I said, I don't care about who carried who, who did what. I'm just here for the match. Shut up and just give me my match. And the match was phenomenal. I know David Mintz are going to give it a 20 star, a 16 star, a gabillion star. A gabillion isn't even a number. But you know what I'm He's going to give us some fabricated number because it didn't happen in WWE. If it's, you know what I mean? He's probably going to give it a 20 star or whatever or a 6 star or a 10 star or whatever. But the moral of the story is they had a lot of high spots in this match. It was one point in the match where when Jericho... No, here's the best part. In, like Towards the beginning of the match, they went outside the ring and they went over the barricade. You know, in Japan, they use a steel barricade. They don't use like the, the pad like in WWE. They had like the steel joint with no cover. So Jericho went over the rail. And I'm like, is Kenny Omega going to do the uh, the Terminator over the top rope? I'm saying, over the, over the rope into the... Over the barricade, like, I'm like, I didn't know Kenny Omega had hops like that. I didn't know he was. I didn't know Kenny was sponsored by Nike like that. So he didn't do that. I, I would expect him to fly over the rope and do the Terminator, the ride of the Terminator, but he didn't. But um, that was a, he actually did like a um, springboard elbow, but Jericho moved and they went outside the ring fighting, and um, Red, and Jericho slapped Red Shoes and he put his son in the wall. The Jericho said, "Look at the son," and um. Real, real, real good spots. A lot of good spots. And then one part, they took out a table. They set it up like Jericho's going to powerbomb Omega through it, but he uh, reversed and powerbomb him on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the ground. And they worked the match. And I knew what they were going to do. They, they did work the table. They put it over the side. People forgot about it. Then towards the end, that's when Jericho went through the table. V-trigger, V-trigger. Kenny Omega hit like a minimal. I think he hit like... 20 V triggers in this match, at least 20, 10 at the most, 20, 20 in the max. But um, it was a great overall. Oh yeah, there's another spot where Jericho just kept firing Kenny Omega here to He put the chair between, he waved the chair between the um, the ropes, and he kept slamming and slamming and slamming Kenny's head, cut him open, bloody, but it wasn't that much blood. It was like ridiculous blood like you see in CZW dude just covered it wasn't like that it was like it was I right. it wasn't that bad but um then Kenny Omega went for the um I forget the name of the move where he goes it's like a suplex but he hooks your arms and he but in the description in the comments let me know what that move is called I forget the name of it he went for like three he fired him off like he hit one, I think he hit like four uh, he went for the fourth when Jericho slipped out then Hit him with hit him with something else. Then Kenny Omega flipped up and boom, hit him again. Towards the end of the match, he hit the one the one winged angel. Boom, one two, grabbed the rope like they said, like Okada. Then he hit it again. One two three. Kenny Omega wins. Overall, this match lived up to the hype. It lived up to what it was. If I had, if I was gonna go. If I was going to spend my hard-earned money to go all the way to Japan to the Tokyo Dome just for one match, I would go. That match would have been my selling point. I would have went for that particular match because the match was that damn good. You know, because I'm in the United States, so I didn't get to see all the matches. I wasn't going to stay up that late just to watch Wrestle Kingdom. But I will be watching other matches. I want to see them. I think um, Marty wrestled that night. I think he, I think he did wrestle that last night. I'm not sure because I see him. I post a picture. I'm not sure in the comments. Let me know. But um, that's the match I want to see. 
and I'm gonna watch that because I know they're gonna show it on the same channel as they show the G1. Or they'll probably have a whole damn pay per view up by Friday, so that's nothing too crazy. I'm gonna watch the rest, probably do a review on that. But um, that's it. Let me know what you thought in the description. Did the match live up to the hype? To you, in your personal opinion, did that match live up to the hype? I'm out. Too sweet. Boom. One sweet. Boom.